This video is brought to you by PC Case Gear. A link to their Facebook page and website are in the description. So you need better audio from your Epic Gaming PC. There's a few ways you can achieve that, but let's take a look at one of the simplest, using a DAC. This is the Audio Engine D1. It's a standalone 24 bit digital to analog converter with headphone amp. The D1 can be used with both PC and Mac, headphones, powered speakers, any TV with an optical out, as well as sound systems that have 3.5 or RCA inputs. It retails for $249 Australian or $129 US, which, believe it or not, puts this as an entry level DAC and it's also covered by a three year warranty. The D1 features the AK4396 DAC, which is capable of a 24 bit 96 kilohertz signal by USB or 24 bit 192 kilohertz signal via optical. The headphone amp is based on the Texas Instruments NE5532 low noise op amp, which from my research seems to be well respected. The amp itself is best suited towards headphones with an impedance between 20 and 300 ohms, which is a fairly nice wide range. Physically, it features a rounded anodized aluminium case with a rubberized front and back edge, and it measures in at 89 millimeters wide, 95 millimeters deep, and 25 millimeters tall, and weighs 161 grams, so it's extremely compact. Taking a closer look at the front, we can see that there's a large silver volume knob, the power button and the indicator light, as well as the headphone out port, and of course the Audio Engine D1 branding. Around the back, you've got the two analog out connections, as well as the optical and USB inputs. The top, bottom, left and right sides of the D1 are pretty bare with not much to see apart from some branding and model information underneath, but overall it's a very neat looking and clean little unit. As far as unboxing the D1 goes, it was pretty straightforward. It does come packed in two boxes, and inside the box it is well padded and nicely protected. You obviously get the D1 DAC itself, a 2 foot or 60 centimeter USB cable, a microfiber carry bag, a setup guide, and also a brochure which outlines some of Audio Engine's other products. All right, so now let's get on to some usage test. And first of all, a disclaimer. I wouldn't class myself as an audiophile, nor do I have any fancy audio testing equipment, but I do appreciate good sound, and I feel like I can perceive differences between different types of gear. So just be aware I'm approaching this as an average consumer type of angle. As far as the usage tests go, I'm planning to listen to some music, watch a movie or two, but mostly use it for gaming. My current sound setup on my gaming system is running the onboard sound from the Maximus 8 formula via a 3.5mm jack to my Audio Engine A5 Plus stereo speakers and 12 inch clip sub. I've also got a set of Denon AHD 2000 headphones which I use every now and then, so I'll see how the D1 handles those as well. Okay, so I decided to run an optical connection from my PC to the D1 and then out to the speakers and sub via the RCA connections. I chose optical because of the higher bit rate and higher sample rate that you can achieve running that way. Something important to note here, you'll still need the USB connection to provide the D1 with power, but the optical input is prioritized. So with both connected, it'll gather signal from the optical, not USB, so there won't be any signal clashes there. Now immediately, I noticed the sound was way clearer and felt more expanded or wider. It felt cleaner and punchier, and way more balanced than the bare onboard audio from the Maximus 8 formula. Swapping over to my Denon headphones was extremely simple, because whenever headphones are plugged in the front of the D1, the analog outs at the rear are muted, so you can quickly and easily swap between speakers and headphones if you need to. Now because the D1 has a headphone amp inside it, it's able to do justice to the D2000s which do need a bit of oomph to properly drive. Now here's the thing, since owning these headphones I've really only been happy with the way they've sounded off a Zonar STX sound card, and that was the only sound provider that I felt did them any justice. Well that was until now. To me, the D1 sounded just as good as the STX does, it was full, detailed and capable of clearly driving them at a volume way beyond what I was comfortable listening to them with. The D1 didn't have any perceivable hissing either, which can sometimes be an issue with headphone amps. Alright guys, so at the end of the day, does it do what it claims to do? And that's deliver better sound for your PC, laptop or whatever. Um, yeah, it does, absolutely, in my opinion. 
Now, if you take a look around um, at other reviews, other reviewers that have had the D1, they like it as much as I liked it. And if you take a look at the Amazon reviews, out of 310 reviews, it's managed a four and a half star out of five star rating. So that speaks for itself. So comparing it with other DACs that could be double the price or more of the D1 and may or may not have the connection options that this has, I think it's a pretty solid choice, especially considering it's easier to install than a dedicated sound card and it's more versatile and has more uses. So overall, using the D1 improved the sound of my A5 Pluses and my D2000 headphones out of sight when compared to the onboard audio of the Maximus 8 formula behind me. And I'll happily leave it on the desk and I'll never have to think about audio again. So a big thank you to PC Case Gear for sending the D1 over for review and their continued support of the channel. I really appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and make sure that you stay tuned because next week we're going to be taking a look at the MetroVac, which is a device that should help you keep your PCs nice and tidy and dust free. So that'll be an interesting one. So I'll catch you guys in that video. See ya.